So dozens of families have been displaced and they cannot even return home for a change of clothing. The question for nearly everyone living inside that building is what's next. PIX 11's Julie Malay picks up our team coverage right now. Hey, Julie, good morning. Hey, good morning, Calla and Dan. Yeah, that's the question. What's next? And for a lot of these people who were displaced, the immediate answer is waking up here in the school behind me where the Red Cross has created a shelter here at PS 390 in the Bronx. The Red Cross tells us they're helping 138 people from 37 different families uh, with food, shelter, any of their immediate needs. Our crews were there last night as many of them moved in here with suitcases and some of them with just the clothes on their back. The Red Cross says caseworkers will continue to work with these impacted residents to connect them to resources they need as this moves forward. People we spoke with last night recalled the terrifying moments as this collapse happened. When it first happened, there was a lot of debris and smoke in the air, and people were running up the black crime. And just moments ago, we did see the first right cross. Uh, cars pull up this morning. We hadn't yet to see them here this morning, but we did just see one car pull up and we're going to check in with them for an update. For now, the mayor is asking everyone to stay away from this area as this investigation continues. That's the latest from the Morris Heights section of the Bronx. I'm Julie Malay, PIX11 News. Okay, Julie, thank you for continuing our coverage there. And we will have much more on this developing story throughout the morning as we continue to keep you updated both on air and online as new developments unfold.